Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I'm your host, VGM Corin, and on the last episode, we finally made it to the Tower of Dawn, which we're now going to go into, except there's a gate. Well, that seems about right for me. And I know that there's a box up there, and that there's a switch over here, so we're going to go press buttons and figure what's, what's out, what's going on. Ugh, words. So... As you might have noticed from the game saying that um, I'm 81% of the way through, we are probably almost through this game. And by probably, I mean definitely. So it's probably just going to be the last few puzzles, which I will not... I will... Eh, words. It's not likely that I will get through all of them in this video, but... We're coming up on the end, and it's good to know. And that also means, like the prison, hopefully, we should be getting puzzles that are more difficult than what we've usually been going through. This is an interesting puzzle, because it is. And you go over there for that block. That's fairly one and two pads. Uh, Fairly standard timed puzzles like this toward the end of a game, or particularly a platforming game. And this gets us our box, which we need to push off so we can go hit that orange switch over there. Uh, one thing that's interesting to note, boom, is that orange switch and white switches just don't seem to have any tendency to be permanent or not permanent. I've seen white switches be permanent, I've seen them obviously just now. Wow, I actually got caught on that. I've seen them um, not be permanent, and I've seen yellow switches be permanent and not permanent. I am not entirely sure why that they both exist, and if you know, let me know in the comment below, or comments. All the comments. Anyway, as Farah has shouted from over there, that is in fact the Tower of Dawn that we're going to, but before that, we have this little sand and a bunch of birds to hit with our sword. Or let Farah shoot. Or we could get hit by the birds. Ooh, this is the best way to start out. I think Farah has actually gotten more powerful because she did just kill a bird. And I think it was in one hit. I may be wrong, though. Um, <laughs> I am breaking my own rule of bird fighting because I'm not blocking, good god, as much as I should be. Which is the secret to fighting birds. And if you don't hear it, Fair is screaming at me to look out. I should go back and heal. And we're back with full HP. And one less sand, because I did something stupid. But fortunately, it was off camera, so you haven't seen me do anything too stupid yet. Aside from, you know, almost died of birds. Well, I guess that's just how this episode's gonna be. Last episode, I was all ninjaing my way through combat. And this episode, I'm... This is the worst hidden door in the world. Just, hey... I'm... Oh. I, I think the prince said, come with me, please. I can't entirely be sure, but the princess said no. Also, is it just me, or has the prince's hair gone longer? Like, I noticed that it's flopping around a lot more, especially, um, especially when he's drinking water. But I might be wrong about that. It just seems to me... And his eyebrows are still bugging me. Anyways... How long have I been gone? What are you talking about? Never mind. Oh, so apparently the health and... Health... Not everything is a trap, you know. Damn it, Fair, I'm talking. Uh... <laughs> Apparently, the um, new health, the health power-ups take place outside of the space-time continuum, and is this an elevator? I hope not. Oh no. It's an elevator. Man, it's kind of a cool elevator, all spinning and stuff. 
And we did see in the last save point that there was go apparently going to be a gigantic battle on this elevator. So we're just kind of waiting around. We're going to draw my sword. There they are. Oh, man. See, what I meant to do there was to um, stab stab this guy in order to get um, just get a couple of kills before I use my superpower in case more enemies spawn but you know because of the occasionally shoddy hit detection on what you're trying to hit press E on I'm gonna go ahead and just use this power even though yeah there are more powerful enemies spawning now which unfortunately means that we have spent our power before the most powerful enemies. Uh, well, it could be worse. We've saved ourselves a lot of time. Which we're not going to lose by just rewinding. Man, it'd be kind of crazy if you could rewind through that um, massive freeze. But also bad. Also very, very bad. Sweeping attacks, the bane of my existence. Um, I I don't have anything left to say about the combat that I haven't said before. Like, I don't know. That's all there is. So if this combat decides to run on forever, I will probably end up cutting a giant portion of it and magically ascend the elevator. But for now, let's stare at Farah as she shoots from the world's most tiny bow. Um, there, that is a lot of sword guys. See, this is kind of why I wanted to save, um, save the abilities, because you can't leap over sword guys, meaning if they block you, they just kind of block you. And unfortunately, Farah is getting the hell being out of her. That is the problem with Farah. Okay, let's not get hit by everything in the world. Let's just go all the way back. Once again, I was aiming to stab the guy behind me, and I ended up using a power on this guy. And Ferris dead. Okay, we're back. Um, it, that is a very very long combat sequence and much like all the others but it's over now and we're just gonna pretend that Farrah didn't die and that I magically got up to the top in the next try and it didn't take forever totally hopefully that ah uh, well I'm not gonna say it because if I say it, hopefully that's the last massive encounter of enemies in the game it won't be and there will be like a 70 wave thing um it's interesting that the game is so wave-based, because that's one way games will often introduce difficulty, is just by providing waves upon waves of difficult enemies, and to me that just isn't the best... Well, it did stop, but we don't exactly know why. Um, wave upon wave of enemy might not be the best choice for... Why are we hurrying? for a game because after a while you get bored. The hourglass is nearby. I can feel it. Feel it how? I can't explain it. Oh my god, treasure. And a save point. But mostly treasure. Lots of treasure and I want all of it. And an hourglass. I have a feeling a cutscene is coming soon. So let's go ahead and save at the save point and see what kind of cutscene it's going to be. Well, we run up to the hourglass. We wall run up to the hourglass. Apparently getting to the hourglass is a pain in the ass. And then Pharaoh betrays us. No surprise there. Let's go ahead Done. I'll start the story and see what happens. Because after all, it wouldn't be a Prince of Persia episode if we didn't do something incredibly stupid. Have we done anything incredibly stupid yet? I don't remember. No one here. It's very surprising that no one's here. You know, I was told that getting... Get on top of 
the hourglass. <gasps> Look out! Why do I need to get on top of the hourglass exactly? I mean, aside from, you know, planking on top of it, I can't really think of anything to do. I mean, I could lick it from up there, but that doesn't seem necessary either. Alright, if you see that, there's a... J not that. That's not what you're looking at. You're looking at the pole. That doesn't really look like a pole, but it is in fact a pole. my enemy. I had looked into his eyes, and I had lost everything. Well, no surprises there. We're both dead. A tomb. You were there. The dagger was in your hand. Why did you hesitate? You think you're cleverer than everybody, but you're just like the rest of them. Those soldiers, all they can do is fight, destroy. Why did I trust you? Why didn't you trust me? <laughs> oh. Sorry. Where are you? I'm right here. Hold my hand. I didn't mean what I said. No, you're right. All that's happened is my doing. I wanted honor and glory. I brought this on us. You are brave and good. If this tomb is to be ours, at least the dagger will be buried with us. And we are together. What is it? Nothing. You're trembling. I just don't like close spaces. There must be some way out of here. When I was small, my mother taught me a secret word. She said that when I was afraid, all I had to do was speak that word, and a magic door would open. I've never told that to anybody. I can see why. It's the most childish thing I've ever heard of. What was the word? Kakolukia. Kakolukia. You did that, didn't you? Farah? And we're back. Apparently, apparently, the princess knew a secret word that takes us. Oh, hey! These curtains are familiar because they're, um, they always appear when we're going to get a massive health upgrade. In any case, the prince was about to set everything right, then he had his last minute, uh, you know, hesitation, and now we're in the final act of the game where he has to man up, and basic story arc. It was a nice little cutscene, at least, though. I always appreciate CGI cutscenes, and this is the longest staircase. My god. On the bright side, cool music. The game has really diversified in music recently. Um, wow, this is a long staircase. And anyway, on the music, I appreciate that, though the beginning part of the game was very quiet. Here we are, we're finally at the bat bottom of the Kalkalukia staircase. Where are you? Oh, isn't it beautiful? 
Isn't what beautiful? Where are you? Apparently, she doesn't tell us. Feel like telling us where we. What are you doing? I'm looking for you. What the? So apparently, doors are a lie in this room. Oh no! Is this a door puzzle? I don't where like. Where are you? I'm right here. Hmm. This is interesting. Let's go in this one. Uh. Yeah, the prince's thoughts are about the same as mine in this scenario. Okay. 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 I don't remember what doors I've gone into. I know I've gone in. There must be a reason for this. <laughs> Does, is there a reason, Prince, or is it just insane? Right. Alright, before I do anything else, I would like to look around this room and try and figure out an obvious puzzle. Where are you? I'm here. She's there, but he's not there. He's here. Okay. Prince sounds like he's getting more and more annoyed, which I don't blame him for. Where are you? Here I am. So, I'm beginning to think that I have to follow the princess's voice, but I can't exactly tell where that would be. You know what, let's try going out the back. Mara, where are you? Oh, hey! Mara. Well, we figured that out. If only we could stay here. So this is definitely a... Damn it. I'm guessing that this is a door puzzle where you have to pick the right order of doors. And so the first one is back here. Which where are you? Leads us over here, maybe? Let's find out. Alright. First door is this one, where we go out the back. Farrah. Second door is here, which takes you back over here. Farrah, where are you? Here I am. Third door is on the left over there. Where are you? Take me in your arms. I and, don't see you. And Farrah is attempting to seduce us. Ah! Fourth door is the, all the way on the left. All right, this is getting ridiculous. Which unfortunately takes Mara? us. Just take me in your arms. Who are you talking to? She's talking to you. She wants your hot body. Let's go. So long. Can you hear me? So, once again, I'll be pausing until I find the right door. Fourth door on the left takes us here. Why do you act so distant? And that door takes Mara! us here. And I'm just going in this door. Screw it. How in oh hey, I think I may have figured out okay. never mind.
Was it real, that magical cavern? If it was a dream, then it was a dream we both shared. I know it was. Oh, oh no. And finally, just like all the visions foretold, she took the dagger. On the bright side... Oh god, we don't have any weapons. Let's run! Actually, I think that's how I'm supposed to do, because once again, I feel like stressing. No weapons. Uh, sorry about the cuts for the jump puzzle there. I wasn't entirely able to do anything else with that, given that it was just a bunch of... Oh no. A bunch of... Uh, thingamajiggers. Yep. Oh, uh, apparently they stopped chasing us. That's interesting. Uh, okay, anyways, what I've been trying to say is that apparently our reward for the finishing the puzzle was um, using our words. Using my words. The reward was a naked Farah, and of course, getting to finally, finally bone her. But then she took our dagger. Which, well, <laughs> seems about right, all things considered. Now we have a light puzzle here, which I am not entirely convinced of the meaning of, so we're gonna tr Oh. Oh! My! And we're back here, with music playing. I'm not entirely sure However, that... Oh, well, I guess the enemies aren't supposed to respawn. Well, what do you know? Also, as you can tell, there are a bunch of light posts here that I believe I'm supposed to channel into those... into these. Whatever those are. But, as you can see, that might be a little bit more difficult than... Don, ugh. That might be more difficult to do than to say. However, there are, as always, black scorch marks on the ground. So we're going to go ahead and try and figure this puzzle out real fast. And if I start just failing constantly and consistently, then I will reset. Now as you can see there's another um, black spot over there and we need to do something about that, I think. I mean, let's take this, which has no purpose as of yet, and pull it over here. Uh, I guess I can talk about that um, puzzle some more, since we're in a puzzle that makes sense. I think that you're supposed to follow Pharaoh's voice, and eventually get to where she's telling you to go. Is the light hitting that mirror? Well, it is, but it isn't. Uh, I'm... There we go. There it is. Now then. We need it to channel the light. Hmm. 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 Thinking. I'm not sure. I, I, I again stand by the idea that I probably need to light up all of these lanterns. But, on the other hand, I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I'm not sure where the light goes. Oh, there it is. So, now we have the light going here. Which is something, I guess. I think this is, so far, where we need to um, have everything. I don't enjoy puzzles like finding Follow Pharaoh's voice, but I can understand the reason for their existence. Now, we can reflect the light here. We just saw it happen. It's just a matter of finding the right position. And also, you know, luck. Okay, now we've got this light reflecting, so we are going to pull this light and hopefully reflect it into the sword cage. So I may have been wrong about needing to light up all of the mirrors. And instead we just... There we go. And now we have... A sword with a rune on its spine. Excellent. 
Well, that still won't help us without the Dagger of Time, because we can't kill enemies with just a sword. It is, however, better than nothing. And it apparently can just chop down doors, which is excellent for our purposes. And... Th that scream seems just about right, given the situation. So we're going to go ahead and jump up and meet her. Now let's try out the sword against these guys. Oh wow, this sword actually kills enemies in one hit. My, that's unexpected. And awesome, and vengeance for this entire game's combat. Oh, I guess it's two hits for those guys. Whatever, they can all die. Everyone, I am so happy right now. Wow. So, this episode's run a little long, so I'll go ahead and cut here, and next time when I come back, I'll talk more about the puzzle to find Farah and just things like that. But we can see now, especially with our ultimate sword plus one to kill enemies in one hit, that we do not have far to go. So, until we break that, that hurdle, I'll, stop I'll see you next time. in the next one.